Hey guys and welcome to today's tutorial on another one of my favorite page styles. Okay, so let's just start with the tutorial for today. And the first step we always need to do for any of those page styles is to cut and score our cardstock as well as our pattern papers. And for the measurements you can refer to the cutting guides and templates which are available in my Etsy store for different album sizes. And when I cut my cardstock and pad and paper, I always like to label all the elements I have cut. So this is just an example on how to use your cutting guides um, for cutting and scoring your cardstock and pad and papers. And then um, after scoring, you can go ahead and do the next step. So the next step for this page style is to attach tape right next to the scoring lines. So we have already scored our cardstock and now we can take our 3 8 of an inch tape. So at least that's what I like to use. And you just want to make sure that you place it um, on this little flap we have created uh, with scoring. And you just place it right next to the scoring lines without actually covering the scoring lines. And after attaching our tape, we want to cut off the corners of the little flaps we created with scoring. So for this, I like to turn around my cardstock and then I get my small scissors and I just cut it an angle right next to the scoring lines. And just make sure that you don't accidentally cut into the scoring lines, but just next to them. Once you have cut off the corners, you can go ahead and um, actually fold up the little flaps we created. And for this, turn around your cardstock because you don't want to fold it up on the side where you scored it or where you placed the tape on. Um, so we want to fold it on the back side. And then I also like to get my bone folder and burnish it down. After preparing those cardstock elements, we can continue by adding the pattern paper for the basic page onto the basic page. And for adding pattern paper, I always prefer using wet glue instead of tape because when using wet glue, you're still able to move around your pattern paper and find the right position so that you have an even border around it. And then for the next step, you can attach cardstock elements A onto the basic page and you actually want them to be placed in the middle of the basic page. Um, so you could definitely use your ruler here, but as you can see, I actually just eyeball it and make sure that they are somewhat in the middle. And then I remove half of the tape backing from the first cardstock element A from the bottom. And then I use the non-sticky side to align it. And um, once I have found the right position, I just stick it in place. And then I remove the tape backing from the opposite side of the same cardstock element to also stick it down and make sure that it's straight. And then for the second cardstock element A, I actually make sure that I align it um, with the first cardstock element A so that they are attached um, perfectly next to each other. And after attaching cardstock elements A onto the basic page, you can just cover them with the coordinating pen and paper. So just get your pattern papers A and um, attach them to cardstock elements A by using wet glue again. Now for the next step, we actually want to prepare our um, cardstock elements B to look like tags. And for this, I actually recommend to just use the templates which come with the cutting guides as well. So this makes it very easy. You just have to um, yeah, use the template, get a pencil and then mark the corners of the tag as well as the hole for the ribbon. 
you can then simply go ahead and get your scissors to um, cut the corners and then a hole puncher. I actually like using my cropper dial to punch the holes. Now what I always like to do uh, when making tags is I like to get a piece of um, like pattern paper, so a scrap piece, and then I get some of my wider tape and I just place it on the back side of the pattern papers and um, then you can turn it around and use your hole punching tool, so I use my cropper dial tool again, um, and you punch holes um, just along um, the side where you placed your tape on the back. And then I get another like circle punch tool um, and this is a circle in half of an inch and I just use it to punch out those circles around the holes. And um, then because, the, because of the tape on the back side they are already self-adhesive so you can just go ahead and remove the tape backing and then just place them around um, the holes punched onto um, cardstock elements A. Now we want to attach um, our ribbon to the cardstock elements B and for this I just cut off a little piece and then I fold it in the middle and I actually grab the middle um, and pull it through the whole of our tags and once it's pulled through you can then um, use the, the rest of the ribbon and also pull it through this little loop you created and yeah then you have your ribbon attached and you can continue by doing the same for the second cardstock element B. And because my ribbon was quite long, uh, I got my scissors and just cut off a little bit and I cut them off um, at an angle. But what I also like to do when I use ribbon in my page styles, I always want to make sure that they don't rip apart so easily. So I actually get a lighter and then I just burn the ends of the ribbon and this actually uh, prevents them from ripping apart. And now that cardstock elements B are prepared, we can continue by adding um, pattern papers B onto cardstock elements B as well. So again, I use my wet glue here and then I just attach those pattern papers onto the cardstock. And then of course the last step for this page style would be to um, actually slide those cardstock elements B underneath um, the belly band, so underneath cardstock elements A. And that's it for today's page style. So as you can see we have created two smaller belly bands in which we placed um, two tags and you could actually use this ta these tags for either journaling or to place uh, photos on them and as you can see for the 8x8 inch mini album size you could add 4x6 inch photos and then for the 6x6 inch mini album size you would add um, 3x4 inch photos. So yeah, I really hope that you enjoyed today's tutorial and if you did so, I would love to get your feedback in the comment box down below and of course it would also mean a lot to me if you could um, give this video a like, a thumbs up and um, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. So I hope that you are having a great day and I would love to see you in my next video.